Oli Marshall and I'm the creative behind Friends Never Street. I grew up in Hedden, um, but I was all over, all over the city through, through skating. I uh, fell in love with skating when I was in primary school. Um, so as much as I was in Hedden a lot, and that is definitely where I'm from, I'm a, a man of the city, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, if it weren't for when I say skating as well, it was like a, the rollerblading equivalent of that. Um, so there was a, there was a really good scene at the time, um, like when Route One was open down Savile Street and Rock City was originally open. Um, that's when like primary school fell in love with it, um, met, met some really good friends, still my best friends now, um, and that's kind of put me on a path of where I've got to, I believe. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the skate scene in, in, in Hull is massively back up, same with the BMX scene. I've uh, got some really talented guys here, but it just dipped for a while, so it was kind of like my generation and then a, a bit of a lull where people were still doing stuff, but now it's definitely uh, back at it. I think like the, the, it's like the skating stuff massively put me on like the, the the path to where I've got to, but it was like the skating got me into graffiti, so I paint graffiti. I don't know how many people know that. I'm sure most do, but I paint graffiti, and then it was kind of like falling over graffiti and letter forms and stuff like that. So I still paint now, um, and that's what kind of made me want to step into like the digital world um, and stuff, and just try my hand at, at that. Um, and that's accidentally how Friends on Every Street was born, really. I mean, there was, a, there was definitely a time where I doubted myself as, I don't really like the term artist, creative or anything, but as a person that likes to do something he enjoys, I'll put it that way, so I definitely doubted what I was doing, um, and there was, especially at the times in, in the city, it's been quite a, a place that wasn't, wasn't welcoming of artists as such, or like, it was weird to be an artist, or it was weird to be a creative, and I think just doubting myself in that time really was was silly because I do some absolutely ridiculous stuff and people love it. So I probably should have just took myself a bit more serious, give myself a bit of a break really. Uh, goals would be just to enjoy life, like we've just been through the last two years has been absolutely crazy. Just, I want time, time over money. Um, I think I've just learned a lot of life lessons. I've got a little girl, I want to spend as much time with her as I can spend as little amount of time at work as possible and um, just try and rebalance stuff out like fell into an apprenticeship when I was 16, 17 like worked every day since and just want to stop juggling as much stuff and take some time back enjoy my life and then just see how much of Friends on Every Street I can I will allow me to do that just have fun with it and then go from there really no, no big pressures hopefully So Hull is important to me because it's where all my family and friends are from. Um, I think it's where we've been brought up to not have any pride for ourselves. And that, and I, and I, I think it's really shown now because it's when we hit 2016, 2017, you've never met a proud place. And everyone that's visited absolutely loves the place. So Hull, Hull is important to me because it's the underdog and it, it shouldn't be let to ever go back there. It should always remind everyone that you thought it was rubbish when it was actually class. Um, and I think, again, going back to like the creative scene and all these other cultures in the city, we've got a lot of really, really good stuff here that have just been bubbling away naturally. And that, that's why Hull is so important to people that are visiting and to myself. And that's why I really like to work with other independents and drum them up because they deserve it. You know, when everyone wasn't interested, they were still mm. trying to crack on them. I think Friends on Every Street will always just be a whole, a whole brand, um, a whole creative platform. It'll definitely be a whole Yorkshire platform. I think I'd go as far as like, you know, showing my love for Yorkshire. But as for other cities, no, uh, they don't deserve it. <laughs> well, who's the only one that deserves my heart? So. 
So Friends on Every Street was an outlet, a creative outlet from me as a graffiti artist. Um, I originally never intended on doing any whole artwork at all. It was never meant to be what it is at all. It was just me using my skill sets that I had through like a, a sign making background and create like a digital background and, and just trying to create artwork for myself. Um, and it's become kind of like a, an alternative tourist information point. It's become um, a place where people can see what other independents are up to. Um, and it's just become like a celebration of Hull and its people. Um, and, and yeah, and, and it, you know, and I, I really am into like trying to give back to the people and the independents, because if it weren't for them, I mean, it's the silliest thing in the world really, and everyone's supported it. So that, that's very important to me. It's become kind of like more than just me creating artwork. It's become stuff for the people. Being consistent, being friendly, collaborating with other people, you know, it's not just about Instagram, it's about doing things in real life and actually going to say hello to people. You know, Instagram's great and it, and it gets you, you know, a slight success for like sales or like for getting your work out there, but if you're not actually going out in real life, it's, mm -hmm. it's all irrelevant. Um, so sharing other people's content as well is massively important. Um, and I think as well, something that I learned over lockdown, which I wasn't that aware of, because I am a bit rubbish really, um, is like Instagram shopping is absolutely key. Instagram shopping is my, I put that out there for anyone who's trying to sell anything on Instagram, get Instagram shopping. I've been very lucky and very blessed, um, but I think I've just accidentally hit a nerve with the people of Hull. Again, like going back to the fact that we was kind of um, downtrodden a bit, you know, people didn't really want to know. I think kind of what I've tapped into is the underdog again. Um, and it's not, it's not um, too deep, it's not too artistic. I'm not that person. Again, I, I don't class myself as, a, as an artist or a creative as such. I just want to have fun and people enjoy it and that to me is that to me is all I'm after really. So I think it's just been quite like low level. Uh, people just get it, they don't need to think too much about it and, it, and everyone's just had fun with it really. My biggest achievements would be, um, both personally and this really like, would be Friends on Every Street, the doors it's opened, the people it's allowing me to work with, um, the pop-ups I've put on, um, the first pop-up I did in particular down Humber Street was amazing like two, two three days it was packed constant i just didn't expect any of it and i still don't expect any of it if i had a magic ball i would say i'm probably going to look at pushing friends on every street into more of a space a studio space for me with a with a pop-up shop element um, and just trying to mix the world a bit i think with with everything that i'm doing with all the strings to my boat Try and put them under one space, and also like trying to help other independents and creatives. I get asked for advice quite a lot, and I don't always know if it's good advice. But maybe if I created a space that had an exhibition wall and people could exhibit the work in there and stuff like that, I think that's kind of the pipe dream for it. Um, but whether I do that or not, I'm not sure. Um, but other than that, probably just spending all my money on independents still. Yeah. So, do you have anything upcoming? Anything you want to promote or? Mention. Um, let me have a think. I've got some um, interesting projects uh, coming up, hopefully, um, with other uh, local businesses. So I've been speaking to like Aunt Bessie's, um, and I've been speaking to like Visit Hull and stuff like that. So I've got some top secret stuff in the works. Um, so you'll know when when it happens. But yeah, um, other than that, I'm just having a slow start. I think and just trying to take time to think. Is there anything else you want to add? Um, thank you. Thank you very much to everyone that's helped support um, and has enjoyed it. This is as much your thing as it is mine. Um, and I'm starting to run out of ideas, so if anyone wants to chuck me in, I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> thank yeah, you very much. Great. Thank you.